All right, this is uh, a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, you know, I, I know, I'm, just, I'm just proud of what I've done down here. I just want to call me a show off, whatever. But I just, I just want to, you know, show my drum kits. So um, there were two down here. I'll show you the small one first. Uh, I'm not going to do cymbal sounds because um, I'll make those in separate videos. So I'll just do the drum sounds here. This is my my secondary kit, a side kit. It's um, seven piece if you count the tambourine there. Um, this is just made up of. Um, just extra drums I had laying around, old kits that were you know, in pieces or whatever. So I just took those and you know took what I wanted and hardware that could work with it and just made this. So first I have a uh, 12 by 3 Thomas steel snare. texture coated response 2 on it some of these heads I haven't changed because I, I prefer Remo and, and even then I prefer the, the uh, clear emperors and you know a couple have Remos on them that I went out and bought but some of these I, I prefer how they sound with the stock head so we'll just leave that go next we have this pearl tambourine here Then uh, I saw a Kenny Aronoff clinic and I took influence from him, so I decided to put the toms going backwards. So I have a you know, 12 by 10 early 90s Tama rock star. Uh, that, that probably that one probably sounds dead. That could definitely use a, a rezo head change. Uh, then we have a 10 by 8. Late 90s Tama Rockstar. Then I have a uh, 16 by 16 early 90s Tama Rockstar. The finish had been stripped off and the bare wood had been painted orange because I got it with this orange Mapex kit here. So um, uh, I'm Another thing, most of these items are, are secondhand, they're used drums. That's how I was able to get so many. So just keep that in mind too. Here's the 16 by 16 orange with the pinstripe. And then another 16 by 16 Tama Rockstar. Let's just it's the stock Tama head on it. That one is uh, lower on purpose. And the, the heads on the two rack Toms are both uh, clear Remo ambassadors. Then the bass drum here is a 22 by 18 Mapex M series with the stock head. Um, symbols again I won't do the sounds I'll just tell you what they are uh, 12 inch Sabian prototype has the, the top has a sort of a power bell on it but the bottom is fly with no bell um, it was from the vault tour uh, Zildjian ZBT 16 inch crash Agazarian 10 inch splash. The sound isn't very good, but it was free. So, yeah, whatever. It was the only extra splash I had. Uh, 18 inch 
Sabian B8 medium crash. 22 inch Sabian hand hammered rock ride. 12 inch Wuhan China. I have bigger ones over there. It's just with the space between the wall here, there's a. There's, this is pretty much the biggest I can go. And then uh, these cheap little cup chimes from Camber. Um, hardware is just a mishmash of stuff. The pedals, the, the Falcon double pedal from Mapex. So, yeah. It's cool to, to jam on, you know, if I'm not feeling for for the big one right then. But I haven't played this one in a while. Then the main attraction here, the main event, if you will. And I, I've completely lost count of everything on here. So I'm just say there's there's two bass drums, four rack toms, uh, two floor toms, one on either side, a gong drum of sorts, and uh, roto toms over yonder, and my snare. So let's see here the. The main kick is a uh, Star Classic Maple, I believe it was from the, the EFX limited series from, I don't know, 2004 or something. And uh, it's 22 by 18 in the blue silk finish. The second kick is the uh, late 90s Rockstar. 22 by 18 and the, I don't know, some kind of blue green finish. I, I couldn't find out the proper name for that. I try to be knowledgeable, but sometimes I can't find the information. And the 8 by 8 Tom in white silk. It's a Star Classic Birch, I believe. Uh, if I can find the badge. The badge will be on the other side. Uh, the let's sit down here. The ten by eight is in the ultraviolet sparkle. I don't know if that will focus. Probably not. It's a star classic boobinga. <clears throat> the 12 by 9 uh, is from the Maple EFX in the blue silk. And then the 13 by 10 is a uh, superstar, more recent superstar, in, in like a like an iron blue silver kind of thing. I don't know if you can see. I'll, I'll do those other drums on the other side there. Okay, we're behind the kit now. Uh, my throne is uh, Rock and Sock. It's the uh, five leg version. Best throne I've ever sat on. So let's take a seat now. <clears throat> All right. So for the drums here, my snare is a 14 by five and a half, I believe, pearl form. Now, it, I, I think I've got it tuned where it, it sounds fantastic. 
you know, for, for a beginner line pearl snare. So we'll take a listen. Yes, as with the side snare over there, I do keep the snares quite loose. Uh, let's see, the 8x10, and by the way, the snare has a, a stock pearl head on it. The, uh, not 8x10, the uh, 8x7 has a Evans Black. I don't, I don't know what the, what the name is. It's really worn. I'll turn the snare off so I can hear The 10 by 8 has a clear Evans G2. The 12 by 9 has a stock tom head on it. The 13 by 10 has a Remo Emperor on it. The left floor tom is actually a, a suspended tom. It's a 13 by 10 from the, the Black Rockstar kit with a uh, clear ambassador on it. The uh, right floor tom is a 16 by 16 from the Maple EFX. It has a clear emperor on it. Then my gong drum is actually the 14 by 14 floor tom from the Green Rockstar kit. Um, I just tuned both heads really down and put it on a uh, Ludwig snare stand, I believe. It has a clear ambassador on it. Uh, let's see now. Next we'll do the bass drums. Uh, here's the Left one, the Rockstar, has a clear ambassador. And the right one, uh, the Maple, has a clear Power Stroke 3 on it with the included Flam Slam that came with the, the head when I bought it. If you can hear that, I apologize. My dog barking. He's barking all day. Uh, I have the roto toms up here. They have the stock pinstripes on them. Six inch. Uh, eight inch. Ten inch. Then my octobons up here, I have the two high-pitched Tama octobons, and I put clear pinstripes on them. I originally had ambassadors, but I, I definitely prefer the pinstripes. They, they, they uh, give it that sound, that octobon sound that I like in the higher-pitched drums. symbols. Uh, I'll just go left to right. I have the Sabian 12-inch AA mini hats as my main ones. I, I think this is the only constant symbol on this kit. And this is the only one that has also had a constant place. So I mean, that, that just shows how much I love these hats. Um, I have the 9-inch LP Ice Bell as the uh, lefty right option. Um, I was going to use the bell that's going to be up top here, but uh, it just wasn't dark enough to match the, the main right bell. This little combination has a 
uh, 18 inch Zildjian ZHT China with a uh, crappy generic probably plastic or whatever uh, hi-hat symbol laying on the inside to make some sort of weird stack combination and it's actually quite cool Uh, let's see here. This up here is the Sabian HHX Evolution 17-inch effects crash. Uh, then we have Sabian 18-inch B8 China. I got that on purpose because there was a certain sound characteristic I was looking for. Uh, let's see. Next is the Sabian AAX Explosion Crash 15 inch. Uh, that was a, a free rebate offer from Sabian. Uh, stacked on top of that is the, the other bell I was telling you about. It's a, I believe, 8 inch Sabian prototype bell uh, from the Vault Tour. Any prototypes they got from the Vault Tour. Over here we have. The uh, seven-inch Mike Portnoy Max Splash, then the uh, seventeen-inch HHX Studio Crash, and then a uh, fifteen-inch Sabian AAX Extreme China. Then we have the nine-inch Portnoy Max Splash. Uh, my 12 inch stacks here uh, is the other half of those weird hi hats that I have. Uh, I put the top in the 18 inch china. Uh, that's the bottom, and then on the top I have the, uh, the Weiss uh, 12 inch china splash from, from Steve Weiss Music. And then uh, on top of that is a six inch uh, black steel bell from Sabian, again, Vault Tour. Then the 11 inch Max Splash. Uh, above that, next to the Octobons, is my LP Tambourine. Uh, let's see. This crash is the HHX Explosion Crash, 18 inch. You can't see that one because the white shining. Uh, it's a 16-inch Wuhan-style china. Uh, my open X hats over there are 13-inch Peisty PST threes, which, for being beginner hats, I think they sound quite nice. Uh, here we have the Sabian APX 20-inch solid crash. You know, and and it, it may sound odd that you know because I, I tend to go for either thin or medium thin crashes but I really do like this this one medium heavy crash here uh, it's probably best in not a main crash option you know because I, I have it as one of five up here but it, it adds nice color to it my ride symbol here is the uh, Zildjian Z Custom Mega Bell Ride 21 inch. I'm not too big a Zildjian fan. I can, I mean, you guys can tell that I prefer Sabians. But uh, when I when I heard this ride, I, I just fell in love with it. it. Had the 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 dark bell that I like, the the nice tight ping on it, and then that's why I got the LP Ice Bell to try and have a similar sound. Uh, I have these closed X hats here. They're Peisty 10 inch micro hats. And I have the uh, the original Tama X hat assembly. I don't have the little lever on it. So I just, I just tighten this part. I just put more pressure on it and tighten it down. And get a, a really tight chick out of these things when I hit them. Also good for more Mangini style like tight 16s and 
shit, I don't know if I'm using the right term. I've been drumming for 14 years, but I never took a lesson, so forgive me if I don't know the proper musical terms. Um, 10 inch chopper from Sabian. I guess to make the make you know stacks and quick trashy sounds on the front left and right of the kit. Then I have a 22 inch uh, Han Chi China. Again, it's a Wuhan style, but this has the what I wanted. The main China was a a deep, dark, trashy roar. And this was the darkest I found, and it was actually the most affordable. And I have uh, LP wind chimes, the uh, single row 25 bar, I believe they are. Um, pedals for the bass drums. If that'll focus, it probably won't. It's the uh, Thomas Speed Cobras which are fantastic pedals. I, I love these things. They're, I, I couldn't see myself not using these. Um, hardware, again, it's just a mishmash of stuff. Tama, and Gibraltar, sound percussion, Yamaha somewhere, PDP some other way. Most of these, um, like here, like most of these arm and clamps here, I get the, the not Gibraltar, the uh, sound percussion ones because they're more affordable. But luckily I have options if they're out, which is rare. Um, I think that's about it. I'll, uh, I'll do sounds, uh, sound sample videos of all the symbols. From, uh, from both kits. Because some of these things I, I wanted to find vid uh, videos of the symbols to see how they sounded. You know, just just demonstration videos of the sounds. And, you know, they're, they're worn, so I just had to go out, go out on a limb and, and get it and see if I liked it. If I couldn't hear it in person. So I'll, I'll be sure to do that because I'd, I'd like to be able to help some people finding the sounds they need. Uh, uh, extra thing here, uh, my sticks. I use Vic Firth Extreme 5AN. I, I, I like the regular 5As and then the 7As. Um, but this is a good mix of both. It's longer and it's not too hefty. So it, those, those are definitely my stick of choice. Um, stick bag over here. Fan. There's extra chinas behind me. Um, so yeah, and if there's any, if any of you guys have any questions, whatever you need, you know. Please feel free to ask. I, I can definitely, you know, tell you what's going on with the kit in more detail. If you shoot me a message or a comment. And, uh, you know, that's it. Thanks for watching.